Welcome back to the Portable Podcast for watching for Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. <sighs> How it is during Ghost Month. It's like everybody trips or slips during Ghost Month. Yeah, first we had our maid slip outside in the balcony and I slipped in the bathroom a while ago. Get my shoulder in the sink. Yeah, feeling a bit better now after I put ice on it, but man, it stung so bad. Okay, let's talk to Wolvend. Well, that's just great. <laughs> I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. <laughs> I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. Blow it These now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. The bristlebacks are defeated. <laughs> you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. <laughs> well, he was easy to talk to. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah, I guess I do. I guess I do. <laughs> now she can go to the embassy. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. No, no, let's just get to the Sun Priest guy. There you are, Mr. Priest. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I've cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's worse. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. <laughs> I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Two will do. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. And finally, we can get moving. Done. The embassy can find well, that was way. Maybe we can fast travel now. Yeah, let's go to Baron Light. This will help us travel much faster. To Baron Light. Oh, but don't worry. Ouch. Very light. Now 
last part of the sun to look for Okay, the here we go. Oh, wow. in charge here. Oh, it's just like Assassin's Creed. Oh, I'm gonna get face paint. That face paint. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Where's the bonfire? I've got Looking boards ready to go if anyone wants to play some Where strike. Time to put your shards on you. I don't think there's a bonfire anywhere. What's here? Here. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but you'll be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. <laughs> Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up and paid their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since uh, what, since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight, damn straight. She would have put them all on the table. Things been since your I... silent departure. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. What do you know about the embassy? Now, the embassy. Oh, yeah, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? No, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. <laughs> Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chase the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. Baron, what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. They took from the Forbidden One. 